Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, Steam, VPNs, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryujinx, and Ryujinx just got a brand new update. So version 1.1.668 has a kernel update that speeds up boot times by a few seconds on Metroid Prime Remastered and likely some other games. And version 1.1.669 has a GPU update here for OpenGL. If you are using the OpenGL render, you might have had some issues with Mario Kart 8, and this one here fixes a regression from 1.1.662 that caused OpenGL to time out and softlock in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and possibly some other games. Moving on, and we're still talking about Switch emulation, but switching over to Android and talking about Skyline, and Skyline's got a brand new update. If you head to skyline emu one and click on download, you'll see two brand new updates. Now, Skyline gets updated quite frequently, so by the time you're watching this video, there's a chance there's even a newer version. But at the time of filming here, version 2125 and 2126 are the latest versions. This is the free mainline version. On top of that, the paid testing early access version of Skyline, Skyline Edge also got a brand new update. Today they released Edge version 52 and we've got an audio improvement and a latency improvement. Breath of the Wild appears to be doing a little bit better, but there is still a ways to go. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity appears to be booting. Apparently Resident Evil can be played from start to end with some very minimal graphical issues. Metro 2023 Redux is performing a lot better and getting over 20 frames per second. And finally, this is from Edge version 51, but I thought it was worth sharing considering they have a Snapdragon 680. They went from 5 to 8 frames per second to 14 to 18 frames per second in Link's Awakening, which I think is very impressive. Although Skyline Edge is the paid testing early access version of Skyline, once those changes have been tested and proven to be good, they're migrated over to the mainline build, and this takes about a couple of weeks, give or take, sometimes even sooner. So keep your eye on the download tab on the Skyline website. Next up, we're still talking about Nintendo Switch and a very interesting rumor. One rumor that I really hope is true. Apparently, F-Zero GX Remastered is in the works. It's being developed by Next Level Games. If you are curious about learning more about this one, I'll leave a link to the YouTube video that announced it in the description below. On top of that, for those of you wondering who Next Level Games is, here's a few games that they've worked on. And in my opinion here, F-Zero GX Remastered would be right up their alley and I think it would be pretty good. Next up, we're talking about Steam ROM Manager. For those who may not be aware, Steam ROM Manager is a super flexible tool for adding non-Steam games to Steam in bulk and managing their artwork assets. Added games could be ROMs for emulators, games from other stores such as Epic and GOG. And Steam ROM Manager just got a brand new update. So version 2.3.41 and version 2.3.42 have just dropped, and these updates are the latest ones since July of last year. Version 2.3.41 adds the ability to set controller configs per parser. There's also a fix here and they removed the 32-bit builds from Mac OS. And if we head to the latest and greatest version, which is 2.3.42, they added Steam Deck per parser controller templates. And they also fixed an issue with special characters. Steam ROM Manager is free, it's open source, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And for Mac, the 32-bit builds might come back, they might not be gone forever. If you are curious about this one, I'll drop a link to the GitHub in the description below and feel free to check it out. Next up, we're talking about Wine. Wine stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Wine is not an emulator depending on how you want to interpret that. At a high level, Wine is a translation layer. It lets you use Windows applications on non-Windows operating systems. And Wine development release version 8.4 is now available, and I would argue this is a pretty big one. I mean, with version 8.4, this is the initial step of the Wayland graphics driver. There's also some cleanups here and a bunch of bug fixes, including games. There's a total of 51 fixes overall, and they include StarCraft Remastered and Thief. And if you are curious and wanted to read the change log, I'll drop a link in the description below. Next up, we're talking about a VPN here, a very big VPN. And this very big VPN just did a very big thing. NordVPN places products under open source licenses. And it says NordVPN is releasing three of its products under an open source license. This move coincides with the launch of our free MeshNet feature and underscores our commitment to transparency and community collaboration. And as for what's going to be open source, the entire NordVPN application on Linux. 
Libtello, a working library used to cross NordVPN apps on all operating systems, and Libdrop, a library used to share files over MeshNet. And for any of you wondering, no, this does not mean Nord is going to be free. It just means it's a lot more transparent. I still recommend Surfshark, which, interestingly enough, is owned by Nord. It's just cheaper and you can use it with a whole bunch of different devices and it works pretty darn well. And last up here, we're talking about the Wii U. And a couple weeks back, the Wii U was a pretty hot topic, considering some people were saying in storage, the Wii U could die because the NAND flash memory would basically become corrupted. Well, apparently there is a way to fix that, and Voltar here has a video on how to do that with a Raspberry Pi Pico. Although I personally haven't come across this issue myself, if you have, and if you've got something like an error code of 160-0101, a Raspberry Pi Pico for 8 bucks and some free software and some help from Voltar here might be the cure to the issue. I'll drop a link to this video in the description below and feel free to check it out. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.